here we are at a magnificent venue, the waiting room, Crown Sydney, great outlook, magnificent food, and the great Roy Azatazi with me. It was Irwin, Reynolds with the boot. McQueen taps it back to Inglis, over the top to Azatazi, and South score, South Sweden. The rugby league dream for you. Where did it all start? Where did, where did you start your junior football? It was actually, I, I came across rugby league uh, as a coincidence. I think I loved, what I loved about rugby league was just the contact of just grabbing the ball, running it, and then other person's waiting for you, and then it's like a contest. Here's Asset Tarsi. Just going that, that's the year of 2004 you win the comp. About 15 minutes drive across Sydney, the Rabbitohs, South Sydney, just coming back from being kicked out of the competition. The name Roy Azatazi comes up as being someone that Seas wants to sign. How did that all start for you? I just remembered when JT called me into the office at Erskineville Oval, you know, that small little one upstairs. Yeah, I remember those offices. Those yeah. little offices. So he pulled me in and he said, look, I know you just got here and you know, we're just looking for some sort of type of leadership role and, uh, and we're looking at you as a captain. and I, and." Flashbacks went through all my whole career. I was like, I've never been a captain. I've never. Yeah, I've never, yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, going, yeah. A captain. Um, I'm used to guys. I'm used to having working under yeah. or playing under certain captains. Yeah. You really have to make sure that you you're mentally ready to take on such a role. Uh, it's not an easy task. You just say, look, I cool. I want to be a captain. You don't just call heads or tails. Yeah, people, yeah, yeah. people think it's just heads and tails, and you just do all the uh, all, all the media work and do all, get all the uh, sponsorships and all that. But it's not it's not as easy as it is. It's uh, you got to make sure that your game is ready. You set the good example off the field, and and then when you're on the field, it's got to you do the best that you can and make sure that you're leading your troops. So it's, uh, it was a tough gig for me to take on. Yeah, so it's well documented that yeah, we, we you were our biggest sign we'd had for many years, you know, and you were the first person where people sat up and said, Well, where is the Tazi going to South Sydney? There might be something starting to happen here at this club. We make the playoffs for the first time, as I said, since eighty nine, which is a long, long time. We've been kicked out of the game, uh, you know, for two seasons. So, you know, our sort of continuity had dropped off as a football club. We came back there, but then your signing started to lead to a few more signings as we went forward. Yeah, it started to go as well. And, and when I go back to negotiations and talking with Russell, it was, he kind of mentioned, like he, he always mentioned the word, look, we want you to be a franchise player. Yep. When you come across, come over South Sydney, because at that time, South, there was no one around as who you categorize as franchise player yep. coming across. So, uh, and he said, once we get you across, then we'll get you all the help that you can get. We'll get you, we'll start, players will start coming around. Uh, we just need to, we just need that player, so. As I alluded to before, you went on, you played 24 tests yeah. for New Zealand and captain New Zealand. That must have been a great honour for you. Yeah, it was. It was uh, well, exciting to play, like most players, when you when you don the, the country's colours. I'll go back to what you said about a uh, captain. The Kiwis, South got me ready for that gig. Yeah. In regards to uh, how to conduct or how to do, um, or, but when it comes to playing country, it's it's pretty pretty easy to kind of run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you got the best players. Yeah. You're surrounded by the best players in the game, and they're just doing the best that they can to try and um, when, as soon as they pull their jersey on. So that my job there was not too bad, but it, I always appreciated or loved my time uh, putting on country colours. The Rabbitohs, as you say, from 2007, we've come a long way to the Rabbitohs of now 2000, coming to the 2023 season. What are some of the big changes you've noticed from afar since you finished playing in that, you finished in 2013, I think it's now 10 years. Yep. What have you noticed and what have, what have you liked about the Rabbitohs when you watch them? So the calibre of players in the South Sydney district is, is growing um, year by year. Yeah. It's a really good blend of, of all different cultures in Australia. And I think. I think the club handles that well and, and we enjoy being part of it and being so inclusive. Yeah, and players actually, uh, and South is a 
club that's built itself on building good characters uh, and players too. And so they, they got a well, a good system going in place because you don't see South Sydney in, in the media for the wrong reasons. And um, a lot of that comes, probably comes down to the closeness and the bondness of players and uh, the multicultural uh, um, personalities that we also have around there. So it's well respected amongst all across the team. So I think in general, it's, it feels like it's a family club. Um, the boys are always going to be looking after you and it shows if you look after yourself or you look after your own um, off the field, um, the real results show on the field. I must thank you Roy, former captain of the Rabbitohs and thank you for firstly coming to the club and, and your influence you've had on, on many players and on the club in your time since you came. You know, we're, we're reaping the rewards of that down the track with the leadership and you know, the different things you bring off the field and on the field. Satazi into the yawning gap. They're all calling for the forward pass. The Cronulla players, they didn't play the whistle. And Roy Asatasi strolls over and gets his first try in Rabideau's colours.